Pro Four or Five here. I was wanting to do a case review today um, on a larger GoPro Pelican case. I've noticed most other videos on YouTube are the smaller Pelican cases, such as the 1200 and 1500 cases. Um, this Pelican here is a Pelican IM2600 Storm case. It's an older model. Um, instead of the pick and pluck foam, I decided to go with the Kaizen foam from the PelicanStore.com. I will post all the links in the description below if you want to check them out. So let's move on to the case. This is the IM2600 case. It looks like all other Pelican cases besides it has the push to release latches and the pressure valve is the same just like the others um, for traveling. Uh, it'll equalize pressure. But that's it for the outside of the case. Now let's take a look inside the case. So the first thing you're going to notice is the Kaizen foam. The Kaizen foam comes in three different colors, uh, black, white, and a contrast, which is shown here. Uh, it is made up of eighth inch layers laminated together. Uh, by having this, it allows you to select the height and depth for each cutout you make. There are two two inch layers and one one inch layer at the very bottom of the case here. It allows you to store hidden items underneath the top layer. That's about it. So the first thing in the case is the Pelican 915 memory card case. Uh, this is nice and neat because it keeps all your memory cards in one places and you can easily see if you're missing one or etc. Uh, it holds six micro SD cards on the right side and it can hold up to 12 standard SD cards. I just have some adapters in there right now because most of the time I use the micros. Um, the foam is nice and neat. It holds them in there pretty securely. Um, overall, it's a great case. It's not completely waterproof, but it does the job. Uh, the second thing is the GoPro Hero 2. I've had this thing forever until just recently upgraded to the Hero 4. Um, it's great for second shots and whatnot. So the Hero 4 is the silver edition. Just picked it up a couple weeks ago. Uh, first impressions is this camera is amazing. Uh, the night lapse, night photo, everything's quite impressive with it. So moving on, I have the floaty back door. Haven't really used it yet. The new frame is much more secure than the older ones. Um, I've used it a few times outside when the weather's not too bad. Uh, next thing are the batteries. I have nice little neat cutout for the batteries. Just again so you can easily see if they're missing or if they're there. Um, I try to keep them charged as much as I can, as often as I can. Uh, moving up towards the top, I have some quick release plates. I have three of the J mounted ones and three of the normal ones. Uh, the next thing below them are the extensions. I have three short ones and three long ones. Uh, I have three of the original thumb screws, the long ones, and I have three of the original short ones. Um, these are the go pole. Uh, uh, thumb screws. They're torque. Uh, I'll put them in the description. Uh, GoPro has some great accessories and these are one of the best. Uh, it allows you to tighten them down quite well. The Joby uh, tripod. I use this thing all the time. Uh, it's great. You can wrap it around tree limbs, etc. Then I have the uh, tripod mount shoved down here on the bottom. So that's the top layer. Moving on to the bottom layer here, um, these are accessories I don't use quite as often, like the chargers here up in the left hand corner, uh, the wall charger, car charger, uh, below that I have the alternative back doors here with the GoPro Hero 2 LED LCD uh, backlit display, uh, the head straps here and the vented helmet strap don't use them very often. That's why they're in the bottom. The Hero 2 uh, wrist mount here, uh, I've used it a few times but I tend not to use it that often. Suction cup mount, don't use it that often also. Uh, you notice these cutouts are perfect for these things here. Uh, lens cover and 
the wall charger, uh, clear protective lens cover, wall charger, uh, Wasabi makes great accessories and batteries, they're extremely cheap. Go pull some more accessories from that company, the bobber. This thing's essential if you're in the water. Um, it's easily seen. You can put a strap on it. Uh, it floats. And the last thing here is the go pole arm. Uh, I use it on my helmet to put the GoPro out in front of me to get a uh, view looking back at me. And I have plenty of room to expand in the future uh, if I ever get some more accessories. And finally up top I have the anti-fog inserts with uh, new un unused curved and flat adhesive mounts and just some random other items up there as well. So that's pretty much it with everything inside the case. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or anything regarding the case, the foam, or any accessories inside, just leave me a comment below and I'll reply as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Thank you.